It's time to go to the best place ever. Once we're there, we can stay forever. All your buddies can play there. Everyone wants to stay there. Singing and dancing is fun together. Working under the sun together. Always fun things to do there. The world is waiting for you there. For you there. With your playtime buddies, they've come to play with you. Taking us on an aerial tour of Playtime Village, Pilot Buddy. My pleasure. I just love looking down from up here. I can't believe how different things look from up here in the helicopter. It's really amazing how a helicopter can hover like this. Being able to stay over one spot is one of the main things helicopters can do. And that's something airplanes simply can't do. And taking off and landing straight up and down is another. That's right. And speaking of which, now it's time for us to land back at the airport. Hello, pilot buddy. Are you ready to land? That's a big 10-4 control tower, buddy. I don't see any other aircraft in the area. Therefore, permission to land is granted. Ground crew buddy will direct you where to land. Just follow his directions. Thanks, control tower buddy. Over and out. Oh, great. There's ground crew, buddy. We're down. You can get off. Wow, you're a real pro at this. That was a great landing. You sure know how to fly. Thanks. But it's not something I did all by myself. It's not? Nope. There's a whole team of buddies involved in what I do. Like ground crew buddy, who you just saw help us land the helicopter. You're right. Yep, it's true. And control tower buddy. You'll find him sitting right up there. Hi. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> he makes hmm. sure the aircraft near the hmm. airport don't bump into each other. Wow. And mechanic buddy makes sure the engine is working properly at all times, no matter what. Ah. Gosh, I never knew so many buddies were involved in making things happen around here. It's a whole team cooperating with different skills, all working together for the good of everyone. And you've probably flown every kind of aircraft there is. Just about. In fact, Playtime Village Airport is having an exhibit today of my plane collection. Let me show you around. I think you'll be fascinated. Yeah. There's a biplane. It's called a biplane because it has two wings. Let me explain it. Bi means two. One, two. Three wings? I bet that's a triplane because tri means three. That's right. One, two, three. And there's the passenger jet. We sure had to build a long runway for this jet to land on. Mm -hmm. A challenge. Mm -hmm. And that's a glider. Where are the engines? Gliders don't have any engines. They glide on the wind, sort of like a wow. kite. Completely silent. Is that a basket tied to a balloon? That's right. It's called a hot air balloon. Hot air is pumped into the balloon, and it rises into the air carrying buddies in the basket. It's another type of aircraft. One I happen to prefer. What do you think? Would you like to climb aboard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess if these are all yours, you must have flown all of them. You're absolutely right. Come to think of it, about the only thing I've never flown is a rocket ship. Hey, best buddy. Listening to Pilot Buddy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You bet. 
Best Buddy and I are going to take you to meet our friend, Astronaut Buddy. He'll be happy to take oh. you up in a rocket. Really? Oh. Do you think so? He loves taking buddies on rides and showing them outer space and teaching buddies all about everything he knows. I'm sure he'd be glad to take you up if you want to go. You're kidding. I'm surprised. With all your flying, I was sure you'd been up in a rocket ship before. Nope, never. Well, I've got a rocket I was about to take for a test flight. Why don't you come along? All of you. All of us? Best buddy and me Gosh. too? Of course. Eight, seven, take it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Whoa! Yeah, I made it into space! Ah! You made it into space! Just take a look out the window! Hmm? Hmm. Howie, this is great! Oh, here comes a flying saucer! You see all kinds of things up here. Would you like to fly the ship? Ah. Huh? Really? Of course. You can do it because you have a lot of experience as a pilot. This is great! Try steering us to the left. Oh boy! Now you've flown a rocket! You've flown everything! And I owe it all to the two of you and my new friend, Astronaut Buddy. Thank you! You're welcome. One of the things that buddies do is help other buddies achieve their lifelong dreams. Why don't you steer around that satellite and then back toward home, now? Okay. What's a satellite? Satellites are sort of electronic machines in space, like this one. What do they do? All kinds of things. They're used to help people predict the weather and to send cell phone signals. They're even used for giving directions. Who's it giving directions to? Buddies back home use it. It's called GPS, which stands for the words Global Positioning System. And it can tell you how to get from where you are to where you're going. A lot of my buddies at home have them in their cars, and they love them. You know, I think I know what you're talking about. You mean that voice in the car that tells drivers where to turn. Wow, that's high tech. It works on special gadgets, or even on cell phones, like this. Go 200 meters, then turn right at the moon. Huh? Oh my goodness. That can't be the right directions. The moon is behind us. Astronaut buddy, are you there? Come in, please. Let me in huh? here. Hmm? Hmm. I read you loud and clear, control tower buddy. Is everything okay? No, one of the satellites is giving out wrong information. Huh? What kind of wrong information? Just give me a moment and I'll show you. Check it out. At the next corner, turn left. Now, this can't be the right place. Hmm. Well, this can't be right. Go 200 feet, then turn right. Oh. Hmm. This can't be right. Oh, can't be right, can't be right. Oh. oh my gosh, you have to help them out, astronaut buddy. I will. I'm turning the rocket around and heading for the satellite. Okay, here we are. Pilot Buddy, take the controls. Are you sure about that, my friend? You'll be just fine. Keep us near the satellite while I take a closer look. Hmm, that red light means it isn't working.
Hmm, maybe this. I see the equipment, but I don't know what's wrong. I think we need to ask somebody for help. Who do you suppose we should talk to? How about Scientist Buddy? That's a great idea. He knows all about different electronics and gadgets. Yeah. I'll get him on the radio. I'm sure he'll be able to help us. Perfect. Scientist buddy, we need your help. Watch that. Oh, astronaut buddy, what can I do to help you today? The satellite is sending out wrong information. Can you help us fix it? I'm sure I can. Show me the problem. Just look at your screen. You'll get it. Well, that's definitely wrong. The red light shouldn't be blinking. Something must be loose. How can we fix it? You have to examine the satellite, find the piece that's loose, and push it back into place. A-OK, -okay, scientist buddy. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Give it a try and let me know if it works. OK, everyone. Look through the windows and help me spot the loose piece. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. This isn't loose. This isn't either. Over there, to the right, that little square piece. That's it. Push it in. That's it. Astronaut buddy, you did it. The system's working. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without pilot buddy being here to keep the rocket in position. I helped, but it was Sweetie Pie who figured out we should call scientist buddy. Scientist buddy's great. And best buddy too. Thanks a lot, but it was all of us doing it together. And I'm glad it's fixed, because I need to get us some directions to get us home. Friendship and spend with everybody many delicious days. Sweet pie and best buddy are still ready to make everybody happy. Play. 